Welcome to the Liberty Accelerator Jet Show. As armed forces families, we sacrifice greatly every single day. Tragically, our liberty is under attack from serious domestic threats. Our health is put secondary to the mission. Our sense of self is sacrificed for the team. And our wealth is at grave risk amidst outdated approaches to finding jobs and focusing efforts on antiquated 1970s era solutions for retirement savings and education. Many are lulled into a sense of security without any escape plan, eventually getting ambushed by military transition. The Liberty Accelerator Jet Show exists to change the way you think about your family's readiness. Hello and welcome to episode zero of the Liberty Accelerator Jet Show. Thanks so much for flying fast with us. Jared H. Smith here co-hosting with various contributors on the superhighway to liberty and freedom beyond uniform service, away from the danger zone, because we all get out one day. We're discussing armed forces family readiness topics across the spectrum of life and preparation for far beyond the military. I'll never tell you what to think, but I aim to help you think critically and give you a slightly different framework through which to view this dynamic and unforgiving world. This show contains the knowledge and guidance for intentional, informed family readiness from the earliest days in service, starting now. In this series on jobs, efforts, and taxes, as part of the Liberty Accelerator for Armed Forces Families, we aim to equip the service member and military spouse with the important information they must have right now in order to equip themselves for free fall out of uniform service to the nation whenever that day arrives. The lie is that transition is for later, and that idea isn't taking care of those people of yours who are transitioning right now, or of yourself. In this JET series that focuses on solving the transition trap problem, plaguing and ambushing all of us in one way or many, by bringing attention to the three main topics, jobs, efforts, and taxes. JET. Have you noticed a rise in your expenses lately while being stuck in a job where the wage is falling behind the prices you're forced to pay for the basic necessities in the marketplace? Are there no longer enough hours in your day and your efforts don't seem to be giving you a leg up? Are you certain your tax liability is the lowest it can be? <laughs> Before we get too far into it, my name is Jared H. Smith. Call sign, hashtag, heck yeah. And my individual journey through the transition experience prompted me to document what I observed and experienced as I approached what some call the transition mission. As a senior U.S. Navy officer specializing in supply chain and logistics operations, I reached the 05 pay grade and have four degrees, three in the sciences and an MBA from higher academia. Balancing out the education, my experience in multiple warfare areas as a staff officer includes tactical and operational level submarine warfare, naval aviation at the tactical level on a carrier workup and deployment, deployments to the sandbox with the ground pounders, logistics information system staff assignments, and operational planning expertise. The oath of office to the Constitution necessitated I warn you all about the serious domestic threat I stumbled upon during my transition and then communicate what I experienced through my transition battle for liberty and freedom beyond the rank, weapons platform, and service branch to all those coming behind me, because we all get out one day. The information herein is absolutely applicable to the military veteran family, too, so please don't keep it all to yourself. Make this show the reason you're reaching out to old colleagues who've left service before you. Grab a virtual coffee with them and see how they're doing. Tell them I sent you. We're building a community around this movement, and I cordially invite you to participate in it. Just engage today. Just do it. Don't wait until you're fighting your transition battle to, re to reach out to them and catch up. They'll only think you're doing so for yourself and not for them. Now, with the many other activities I'm engaged in, while also wrapping a bow around my military service over the next few months, I've realized that not everyone enjoys reading. It's a slower way for many to consume information. I enjoy writing, but many today seem not to care to spend the time it takes to read. And I'm looking to get this message to a much wider audience, including the busy service member or struggling military veteran and their overwhelmed spouses. So, I'm converting all the writing I've done over the past two years into audio for wider distribution. <laughs> and bear with me as I'm scripting these early episodes to ensure I don't miss any aspect of the message. My goal is to ensure listeners are equipped for all the aerial acrobats we'll be performing in this fast-moving fighter jet-like episodes later, where we'll dive deep into each topic area and really challenge all of the limited ideas you've been fed over years or perhaps decades. These topics are critically important to your family liberty and freedom beyond uniform service. I make claims because I've experienced it myself, personally, and professionally. But I didn't realize that until my 19th year in the military, and that put me at a great disadvantage. The government-offered transition solutions didn't offer me the insights either. 
I had to find it on my own, stumbling upon the right mentors with the truth at, fortunately, the right time in my journey. Early on, however, we're riding in a jumbo jet on this show. We can't get off that jumbo plane just yet. I'm going to have to fly slow as though I'm taking as though I'm talking to myself from two years ago as a brand new Navy commander who had no idea where the next two years will lead. The keys to success in your listening to this series and then during transition preparations are one, be willing to sacrifice things that others aren't willing to sacrifice, such as necessities over niceties, including your forgetting about the mainstream ideas around transition and in your life in general. In effect, forget Netflix and engage with me here and spend your time doing what I'm saying to do each episode. Two, be able to manage people, especially at home, but in the work environment, too. Three, be able to identify trade-offs between solutions to problems. On the personal side, it's alignment, such as matching values and principles to the way you live. On the professional side, how do you process issues or challenges at work? And lastly, listen carefully to the words I've chosen to use throughout this jet ride. They matter tremendously. So, why a jet, you're asking? Well, let's use an analogy for military service. And fighter jets are cool, aren't they? We all enjoy the Black Knights and Blue Angels air shows, right? A display of American firepower. Motivating, I like to say. Oorah, right? When the service member joined the military, they very likely boarded an airplane, you see. And it's highly likely they boarded a jumbo jet, one that doesn't maneuver like those fighters do. Early on in this jet show will be more like riding in a C-5 Super Galaxy, the largest strategic airlifter in the United States Air Force. It carries more cargo farther distances than any other aircraft and can haul twice as much cargo as any other airlifter. With a payload of six mine-resistance ambush protective vehicles, or MRAPs, those are huge, by the way, or up to five helicopters, it lifts off with a maximum weight of 381 tons. Now, if the C-5 isn't your flavor, imagine the C-17 Glowmaster III, then, carrying 265 tons with four jet engines of extreme complexity and highly engineered components. My trip into the desert both times were on massive jumbo jets. Amazing machines. Personally, I boarded a commercial airliner and route to Washington, D.C. in the fall of 2002 to interview with a four-star admiral of naval nuclear power, referred to as naval reactors, at the Navy Yard. I was excited to join the U.S. Submarine Force and do my part defending the Constitution after the 9-11 terrorist attack a year earlier. So, the makeup of a jet engine is a great analogy for this Liberty Accelerator jet series. Just like the DoD machine, this jumbo jet moves slow, but carries a lot of weight a very long way, and is hard to maneuver. Just like commercial airplanes, it has rules that must be obeyed. And we all know what the rules on airplanes are. They exist to protect the plane, other passengers, and lastly, ourselves. Our seats on the plane are like our assigned MOS, our jobs in military service. And few have a parachute, it seems, for when Uncle Sam decides to kick us out of the hatch. Just like on the commercial planes today, there are rules we must abide by. We're conditioned to rank and file for the benefit of Uncle Sam and Lady Liberty. So we're in this job and putting forth tremendous effort and energy. Even still, it's not up to you when your time to get out of that plane comes, whether it's in the ground or in the air. And recall the military machine, it doesn't stop. So, for the sake of this analogy... Let's assume the jumbo jet is always in flight. Airline refueling makes that possible. So when your time on that plane runs out, will your efforts and energy be completely and totally focused on obeying the rules and coach without any thought of what happens when Uncle Sam boots you out of the hatch? What will the free fall feel like? So we'll end this introductory episode with the questions framing up what's to come in the next half dozen episodes as we unpack the topics of jobs, efforts, and taxes and begin to frame our perspectives for getting out of the jumbo jet and into the fighter jet. Will the strain and heavy demands of military service jobs leave your armed forces family without optionality at the end of your military service life? Or are you a military veteran who's already realized you began preparing for transition way too late? Will all that effort spent being ready for that little M missions at each staff and operational assignment result in your family being ambushed on the biggest big M mission of your military service journey? Transition? Will the tax of transition leave you equipped with the liberty and freedom you've been led to believe, you've defended, and that you deserve? To set up episode one on jobs, recall this year, 2022, and our first paycheck, when the military service branches were extended a 2.7% pay raise for the year, for all 12 months. Do you realize that the last reported consumer price index, referred to as inflation, was 6.7%, 
and that's a monthly calculation from the previous year's calculation, it woefully understates the real cost pressures because it excludes true food costs, energy, and housing. So to conclude, the acronym JET in the context of this series is an acronym for Jobs, Efforts, and Taxes. That's it. We're going to start out in the jumbo jet and then bounce back and forth between a tremendously sized cargo plane and fighter jets as we navigate the series episodes and podcast seasons. Jet forms a structure around which I'll share my insights about what's commonly and incorrectly referred to as military transition. Because the military, it doesn't transition. People do. And the military is not us, just like we are not the military. The military is composed of complex systems in the form of equipment and people. We're part of the military, not the totality of it. And it will go on without us, without a care in the world. On this jet show, we'll offer an alternative and contrarian view for your armed forces family as you navigate your military service journey and, as importantly, intentionally and informatively plan for the inevitable last day on active duty and the fight you'll engage in during the battle for liberty and freedom beyond uniform service. Remember, just engage today an old colleague and then just let us know in the comments how that chat went. To your liberty... Heck yeah. My biggest goal is to equip the Armed Forces family with all I'd wish I'd known 15 or 20 years ago, while also sharing that there is a literal army of other people ahead of you and a bunch coming behind you and peers taking the same journey today, many fighting their own battles, having not intentionally, informatively prepared for this eventuality, military transition, well ahead of time. I want you not only to get smart and strategically prepare for your inevitable transition, but to take care of your people and not be the senior leader with this secret. Prompt others you care about and are leading to turn their attention toward intentional, informed, armed forces family readiness that also prepares them for the transition mission and liberty battle and begin planning from the earliest days in service. Because if we're ready for transition, then we're ready for any mission Uncle Sam orders us on during military service. We can win this biggest mission, transition, with a team, just like every other mission we ever worked up and deployed on. Sign up for my Substack info letter for free, Knowledge Bombs for Military Family Readiness, and get my book, Avoiding Each and Every Military Veteran's Disadvantage, How to Overcome the Lies a Military Family Believes to Get Our Freedom Back, on Amazon until Memorial Day 2022, then available much more widely thereafter. Thank you so much for listening. Please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Be sure to check out this show's specific website and my center of gravity, jaredhsmith.com for appropriate disclaimers and terms of service. Remember, my opinions and those of the guests are ours alone and don't necessarily reflect the views of and employers we work for. For legal, tax, and other special area interests, please visit a licensed professional. Kindly ask you to punch that like button and share with a colleague or friend from your past duty assignments, and I'm sure they'll be happy to hear from you. We'll see you next time on the Liberty Accelerator Jet. Just engage today. To your liberty, heck yeah.